really happened. But Bruce and I, uh, I would consider Bruce now uh, one of my better friends in the music business. John Mellencamp is a musician, singer-songwriter, painter, actor, and film director from the United States. He's most recognized for his infectious brand of Heartland Rock, which places a premium on traditional instrumentation. Mellencamp achieved fame in the 1980s by honing an almost startlingly straightforward writing style that resulted in a string of top 10 singles beginning in 1982, including Hurts So Good, Jack and Diane, Crumbling Down, Pink Houses, Lonely All Night, Small Town, R-O-C-K in the USA, Paper and Fire, and Cherry Bomb. In the United States, he had 22 top 40 hits. Additionally, he holds the record for the most number one singles by a solo artist at seven. Mellencamp has been nominated and won 13 Grammy Awards. It, uh, I think he, he and I relate to each other because we've had uh, similar experiences of growing up in a small town. And if you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is John J. Mellencamp, but is also known as Johnny Cougar, John Cougar, and John Cougar Mellencamp. He was born October 7, 1951 in Seymour, Indiana, making him 70 at the time of this production. He stands five feet, seven inches tall. John helped form Farm Aid, which raises awareness and helps raise money for family farms. Starting in 1985, Farm Aid has held an annual concert and has raised more than $45 million. He's appeared in the films Falling from Grace, Madison, After Image, and Lone Star State of Mind. He turned down the role that Brad Pitt played in Thelma and Louise. Mellencamp is also an avid and very talented painter and has released books of his paintings. His paintings and drawings have been in numerous exhibitions across the country. Mellencamp has been married three times and has five children. When he was just 18, he married his pregnant girlfriend, Priscilla Esterline. He became a father six months after graduating high school. His daughter, Michelle, also became a mother at age 18, making Mellencamp a grandfather at 37. He and Priscilla divorced in 1981. Mellencamp was married to Victoria Granucci from 1981 to 1989. He married model Elaine Irwin in September 1992, and the couple divorced in 2011. He's also previously been in a relationship with actress Meg Ryan. The two broke up in the 90s, but reunited and became engaged in November 2018. They confirmed in November 2019 that they'd broken off their engagement and split once again. He was also linked briefly to former supermodel Christy Brinkley in the fall of 2015. In April 2020, it was reported that Mellencamp was dating skincare expert Jamie Sherrill. Well, if Bruce is calling, I should go do it. And so, uh, because, you know, Bruce, you know, for guys like me, I'm a couple years younger than him. He put down a big footprint, you know, and he said, here, fill it. Mellencamp was born in Seymour, Indiana. He was born with spina bifida and had corrective surgery as an infant. He formed his first band at the age of 14 called Crepe Soul. He attended Vincennes University and played in various local bands. He stated in a Rolling Stone interview that he abused drugs and alcohol during the time. He sobered up and graduated college and traveled to New York City in an attempt to land a record contract. In between 1974 and 1975, Mellencamp traveled between Indiana and New York City, performing wherever he could, searching for someone receptive to his sound. He caught the attention of Tony DeFries of Main Man Management. His first album, Chestnut Street Incident, was released under the name Johnny Cougar at his manager's insistence. The album was a collection of covers and a few original songs. The album was a commercial failure and only sold 12,000 copies. He recorded The Kid Inside in 1977, but DeFries decided against releasing the album and Mellencamp was dropped from the label. DeFries would eventually go on to release the album in 1983, only after Mellencamp had achieved global stardom. 
Bellingcamp drew the attention of Rod Stewart's manager, Billy Graff, and was signed to Reva Records' label. At Gaff's request, Mellencamp relocated to London for nearly a year to record, promote, and tour behind 1978's A Biography. Although the record was not released in the U.S., it yielded a top five hit in Australia with I Need a Lover. In 1980, Mellencamp released two top 40 singles, This Time and Ain't Even Done With The Night. 1982 saw the release of Mellencamp's breakthrough album, American Fool. This album contained his classics, Hurt So Good and Jack and Diane, which was a number one hit for four solid weeks. Hurt So Good went on to win a Grammy for Best Male Rock Vocal Performance. With these commercial successes under his belt, he had enough clout to add his real surname, Mellencamp, to his stage moniker. Thus, John Cougar Mellencamp released Uh-huh in 1983, a top 10 album that spawned the top 10 singles, Pink Houses, and Crumbling Down, as well as Authority Song. On the tour for the album, Mellencamp opened his shows with cover versions of songs he admired growing up. In 1985, he released Scarecrow, which peaked at number two and spawned five top 40 singles, including Small Town, which became one of his most iconic anthems. He's performed it at many political events over the years. Scarecrow was the first album he recorded at his own recording studio in Belmont, Indiana. His next album came in 1987, The Lonesome Jubilee. Uh, uh, he could be handsomer than me. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrical content is complaining about wasted days, but just reminding people. It's been a rough year for the singer, but at least he has his millions of dollars to ease the pain. 70-year-old John Mellencamp has taken the number one spot on People With Money's top 10 highest paid singers for 2022, with an estimated $58 million in combined earnings. In 2019, it looked like the singer's spectacular career was winding down. Suddenly, he was back on top. People with Money reports on Wednesday, April 6th, that Mellencamp is the highest paid singer in the world, pulling in an astonishing $58 million between March 2021 and March 2022, a nearly $30 million lead over his closest competition. The American singer-songwriter has an estimated net worth of $30 million. He owes his fortune to smart stock investments, substantial property holdings, lucrative endorsement deals with CoverGirl Cosmetics. He also owns several restaurants, the Fat Mellencamp Burger Chain in Washington, a football team, the Seymour Angels, has launched his own brand of vodka, Pure Wonder Mellencamp, and is tackling the juniors market with a top-selling perfume, with love from John, and a fashion line called John Mellencamp Seduction. The ranking is significant for many of his fans who've been waiting for his triumphant return to the glory days for what seems like a lifetime. Mellencamp's net worth is estimated to be $30 million. Mellencamp lives five miles outside of Bloomington, Indiana, on the shores of Lake Monroe. He owns a vacation home on Dafuski Island, South Carolina. Mellencamp purchased an 1,800-square-foot loft in the Soho District in New York City that he uses as an art studio. In early 2020, John paid $2.45 million for a six-acre property in Santa Barbara, California. Later that same year, after modest renovation, he listed the home for sale for $4.5 million. Cars you'll find in his garage include a Tesla Roadster, a 1956 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, a Cadillac Eldorado Barretts, an Audi A6, an Audi A7, a Hummer, a Charade, a G-Wagon, a Mercedes-Benz, an Excalibur, 
and a custom Chrysler Electric G500. 